Welcome back. We are playing Destiny Part 2, which is Scenario 8D of Episode 3 of the Campaign After the Storm in the game Battle for Wesnoth, played by me, Cyber Neuro Druid. Let's jump in. So you can see immediately from the minimap that this is going to be a very large, sprawling scenario. For the last time, Durvan, I am not a goddess! This is ridiculous! Well, there's not much you can do about it at this point anyway. Everyone saw the darkness stuff you did with the remaining monsters, and rumors spread like... A disease! I don't even know what I actually did! I only want to leave this dreadful place and rest! This is the most auspicious moment to storm the Citadel if that is what you want to do. And if you play the part, you may be able to obtain support from your eyes converts. Once they realize that the Fist and the Iron Council have been lying to them, the Chaos Empire's social structure shall shatter. But we ought to plant the seed of distrust now, while Alinea and the Fire prepare to vanquish the Usurper. Assuming they are even alive... Is that what you want? What kind of a question is that, Agar? Yes! I want to see her once again. I want to smile with her, talk with her. She promised. Then please, help us. Help us storm the Citadel. Help us uproot Uriah's evil influence on Ertia and advance the long path that lies ahead for you as the Guardian of Darkness. Okay, we've got a long list of objectives. And we've got the dramatic battle music. So, we've got to destroy Malvar, the last Iron Council member, and move Anya to the Citadel. We have to defeat the Storm Sisters, Vrilla, Grilla, and Ethan Greer. And Anya, Durban, Irelian, Ege, and Kron once again have to all survive. Good thing they're all pretty tough. So, what do we have? Um, no early finish bonus, so we, there's no rush. We might as well slaughter whatever we can, um, especially since it says it could prove advantageous to defeat other enemy leaders and move Anya or Agea to their keeps before destroying Malbar. Um, and then finally, avoid stationing units on the Shaxal Hives nearby. Do not waste your Goblin Pillagers, because we now have a load of random Goblin Pillagers as uh, loyal units. Nice. Okay. I'm guessing, though it doesn't explicitly say so, that this is going to be the last battle where we use our normal army. Um, who knows? But uh, certainly the fact that we've been given a bunch of level 3 loyals, including a demoness spelldancer, which as far as I can tell, I mean, you, you can't even get these guys as, as normal advancements, so uh, it's nice to have one. Domegi, hello. And hello also, Analith and Marion, my droil, droil lyads, loyal dryads. Uh, yeah. Looking around the map, um, we see some chocobones that I should be able to fairly easily lure out. Um, they are... God, there's loads of these. Um, yeah, okay. Well, the tactics, the best tactics for dealing with chocobones are large numbers of expendable units to lure them out with, because they do a ton of damage. They also move quickly, and you can lure them usually quite easily. We've got two leaders on the front lines here. We've got Tremor, the Hell Guardian. We've got Mal Wafnan, the Chaos Lawkeeper. And um, we've got a few more troops hanging around here. We've got some serpents down here. And then on the right here, we can see um, the three Storm Sisters, Grilla, Grilla, and Aethengrier. And uh, they look pretty nasty. So all of them have backstab drain melee attacks. They're all skirmishers. Um, Wind Crush, a 15 5 part sight attack. Um, which also slows. So there's no real way of effectively killing these guys. Probably with Undead is the best way. With Melee Undead, because Melee Undead can uh, stab them extensively without suffering too much. Um, what else have we got? Well, down here there's another leader. Xanathez, not to be forgotten. And we've got a bunch more drones in this corner. Who, which, to be honest, we ought to just be able to largely ignore if we can lure her out. Because um, otherwise we have to go around this way, and uh, that doesn't seem advantageous. 
Ah, okay. Um, in the top corner, in the center of the map, we've got another leader. Um, we've got General Mylian, who's a Death Knight, with a Serpent Messenger friend. Um, up here we've got Mal Unroth, an ancient lich. Just, just because, you know, there's another ancient lich who doesn't play any plot relevance. Um, over here we've got loads of drones, who again, we probably don't need to disturb too much. Here we've got General Penth... Penth... Penthine, or Penthi... Penthine, or Pentine, or something like that. Um, and he is a Chaos Razor Man. And I believe somewhere down here... Uh, no, that's it for, for enemy leaders other than the boss himself, Malbath, who's the last member of the uh, Iron Council. And that's not strictly true, because we don't know what happened to Narhamoth. Narhamoth must be around somewhere, um, and it would be nice to have a rematch, even though he tends to be a little bit uh, invincible. Ah, okay, so with all that said and done, let's jump into it by recruiting some weak troops, because I think... We've got one castle for both players, and I've also got Durvan leading the uh, lead the troops of um, the classic troops that we've had with us for a while now, belonging to uh, General Bardil's forces. We don't have horror, but we do have someone who's almost as good, namely Nortrang, a random loyal lockish warlord. And there's a, sa a slayer over here, a wolf, beautiful stuff. Anyhow, let's try. Let's lure out what we can already. It's even tempting to, to use this Soothsayer. I mean, the trouble is, Soothsayers are really too valuable. If I'm going to have a big sprawling battle, I want to keep them for the front lines. An Asaurian Flanker. Okay. So in general terms, my plan is going to be to advance to the north um, and go across here with... Um, with Durvan and his troops, maybe um, try and take out a few of Tremor's troops as well, uh, and then leave it. Hopefully, he can come around, deal with Mal Unroth, deal also with General Penthos, um, and then uh, we can all meet up in the middle because I will send, because these uh, Tremor, Malwafnan, General Mylian, and down here, Thanethes, um, will be dealt with by. Anya and Agea and their troops. That's the plan anyway. No plan survives contact with the enemy. You might as well grab that. Can't quite lure out that uh, nor do I want to actually with a with a unit as weak as this. We will send some units this way, and Agea can lead the charge down there. Where's Kron? Kron can go this way. I don't think Kron and Agea need to hang around together all the time. Uh, Anya needs to stay here, because she's going to recruit troops. And specifically... Going to have some skeletons. I'll need them to defeat the Storm Sisters. Uh, some skeleton archers as well, maybe? I think the skeletons are going to be much more useful. They're also good at defeating chocker bones because they don't suffer pierce damage too easily. So I'm going to have a whole keep of skeletons. And, um, well, maybe not a whole key. Maybe I'll have some thugs as well. And of course, all of these guys are thoroughly uh, expendable. Tempted to get some troll whelps, but at this point, they're a bit too slow. They probably wouldn't keep up as well with the rest of the forces. Um, still, might be good to deal with the with the chocker bones with troll whelps too. So we'll have one, maybe another one. We've got plenty of money, so we don't have to make any firm decisions just yet. And one more unit on the red team. Another troll whelp. 
Might be wise actually to uh, to have a bat to grab some more villagers, but I'm going to be going in the direction of where all the villagers are anyway, so maybe that's not necessary. Um, that one's annoying, because that will attract this assault drone if I put a bat on it. The prophecies were correct! The Dark Lady was reborn, and she has finally come to vanquish the Usurper and set us free from his grasp! Oh wow, okay. People in this city are very friendly towards me. Um, <laughs> now that I've got a loyal demon, uh, it's tempting to use him to lure out a chocobone. <laughs> Can I? Um, yeah, I could, but it wouldn't be much use this turn, because I can't. he can't get very far. So I'll just um, inch him forward so that next turn he can maybe get that one. I think that actually should be out of range of everyone. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Never say things like out of range of everyone when there are drones around. Alright, that's this player's turn. I guess I should be thankful you're not calling me Murthial or anything like that. The names of the Guardians you know were the names they chose for themselves in the first cycle. We may not call you by the name of the original Guardian of Darkness, unless you choose to adopt her name instead of your own. Is that how it really works? I prefer to keep my current name then. Right. So, this player has the same objectives. Um, this player is going to be fighting a lot of drones and undead, so I need to bear that in mind. And I think that particularly means having troops that can do fire and impact damage. Um, I mean, you're cool and all, but... Um, which means that actually pillagers, with their fire and impact attacks, are absolutely perfect. And I very much shouldn't waste them. Um, so let's bring them all in and have them start heading north. We've got Vernar. Next turn we'll be in position to lure out this Chocobone. Well, many of the captain probably not going to be doing much fighting himself, but um, will be useful to have in the background. In you go. If you can hear the sounds of rain, it's because there's rain drumming on my rooftop at the moment. Another summer storm. Um, we have some awesome recallable troops, but um, for the most part we just want spam down here. So the usual strategy of orcish archers, footpads and thugs I think will serve as well. I've never attended all that well to keeping this army alive. I kind of didn't think they would be in, <laughs> in the campaign for as long as they have, but, um, you know, what level 3 units can do, level 1 units can do just as well to push. That's a lot of footpads. Why did I recruit that many footpads? Uh, what did I want to get? Some thugs. Thugs, and I'll have some grunts as well. Point simply to have the maximally expendable level 1 unit. And finally, have an Aragite scout. Um, or no, not not even. Um, yeah, I mean they are they are better than they're better than wolf riders. Um, but then again, it's Eternal Night. 
But they're not lawful, they're just they're just neutral. So yeah, I'll go for you. You might hopefully go around running grabbing villages in the background, or worst case scenario be used to lure out lure out some irritating units. Still lots of money left. This player doesn't have as much money. Hey Durvan, did you ever think you would fight at the side of two fairy goddesses against an endless horde of demons, imps, and devout worshippers of an evil demoness? No? Well, now that you mention it, this will be quite the story to tell the folks in the Hark Forest. Nobody will ever believe me. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so some of these drones are going to move too. Looks like all of them are going to move too. And the sisters are not wasting their time either. That being the case, I think it's probably wise not to advance too far too fast. Oh, for goodness sake. So many drones! Oh, we've got some Armageddon imps just to mix it up. And they're all moving in. At least Purple and Black's turn should be pretty short. They just recruit some troops and then run out of money. Okay, we're gonna have dogs in the south. Man, that leader recruits a lot of really annoying unit types. It doesn't seem like anyone has a huge amount of money, and all they're doing is spamming level 1 units at me. So... My strategy hasn't noticeably changed. Still gonna grab these villages. Rise up, brethren! We are slaves of the fist no more! Oh cool, I've got a headhunter. I've always wanted one of these guys. Um, what can I do with you? I can, I can send you up here. <laughs> to your doom, um, because these this drone didn't move, but some of the others did. So I guess some of these are on guard duty, others not. Um, but you will be in range of at least the sentry drone if I send you up there, and the chocker bone. So it would be a bit of a waste of a loyal special unit. Um, you get 70% defense on this village. It might be actually worth it to lure those Chocobones out, even if you die. Um, so, yeah. Can it be? Rebelling against Uriah could be highly disastrous for everyone, but what else do we have left anymore? Yep, fair point. You can do exactly the same thing. No one else here. All right. Um, are any of, no, you're all skeletons, so you're not actually fast enough to lure out this chocobone. You've got to watch out, because the drones are coming in, and uh, the drones are going to make mincemeat of the skeletons. Can I lure this one out with a gear, maybe? They don't do that much damage. Yeah, that seems worth doing. And I'll have a dryad around just in case you mess things up. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna come back here and hang and chill. Chill with your mates. Um, chill with my level three units.
Are there any more skeletons going north? Yeah, probably. I've got a thug going in each direction, so I'll send this one this way as well. I've got blue supporting me up here, so I'm a little bit less worried about what happens there. Alright, what are you going to recall? I'm gonna, now it's time for some, some recalls, because I want some good units as well. Like Alukia the Elvish Shide, uh, Nalan the Elvish Champion, um, you both have the advantage of being loyal. Got some more loyals down here, I think. Yeah, loyal spearman of all things. I mean, it's kind of weird. You're weird because <laughs> because there aren't any other like normal Wesnoth units in this campaign, really. Um, they seem to be from a former age somehow. And I think I got all of my other loyals killed. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, um, we will have some more level two units at this stage. We'll have my fire bandit, Anant. Um, he can come and fight drones because that's what he'll be good at. Bone shooter. We're going to start having income problems, but I think that's fine. Um, not 100% sure that money will be hugely important after this scenario. Do I want a level 1 unit of some kind? Anyone stands out? These guys all suck, really. Um, a skeleton. One skeleton with on 26 experience is probably my best bet. Everyone else is hardly worth having. Now, although I'm relatively confident from the financial situation, I'm definitely not so confident that uh, I'm going to be recalling all my level 1 units at 20 gold each. That would be a waste of money. Okay, but that, I think, is good for now. And now it's the blue player. So, we can start thinking about luring out at Chocobo. Maybe this drone. Drone or bone? Um... Vernar again, you can't actually be killed by a Chocobone. So I guess I should send a couple of of these loyal healers up with the blue army, because the big weakness of the blue army is that it doesn't have any healers at all. It has to keep going and healing on houses. So let's try and lure you to this side of the river. If I can. I'm not quite in reach there, that's good. You guys are so fast that you can just cross back over the river if you need to anyway. And the poacher swarm can continue to go north. Okay, now let's have our two, our flag bearer, good leadership unit there, our two crossbowmen, we've already run out of gold for this player, oh and we've forgotten, I didn't move last turn a bunch more, <laughs> flipping goblin pillagers. I kind of figure there's some aim for these poachers, these pillagers to be here. You gotta not put them on the shack style hive.
All right, and I think that's everyone now heading north. So we can just recruit until our money is spent. Do I want any of these dudes? Not really, they're all too low experience. So I'll just get more thugs. More orcish archers. Interesting to compare poachers with these guys. These guys are a little bit more powerful, but a little bit weaker. They're just so hard to keep alive. I mean, it's not even easy to keep poachers alive, and you need more experience to level them, so it doesn't seem like they're the most fantastic unit to have. Uh, let's have some grunts, then. Little footpad. And a wolf rider. There we go. Okay, and I think that is my turn. Will we see some combat this turn? We should do. Unless the uh, chocker bones are scaredy cats. So this first wave of level 3 and level 2 drones, we're just going to need to form a line against it and defend until they're gone. And hopefully they don't arrive at exactly the same time as everyone else. But if they do, we form a line and defend more. I'm just eager to see what the teal player will do. Here we go. Okay, well they're lured out. And I can defeat them in advance of the rest of the forces, I think. Just need to make a nice line. Alright, but, um, but this one did not come to attack Agea. Uh, hmm, alright. There's quite a lot of units spamming in here, and uh, the drones will be upon me very soon. So I feel like defending actually pretty close to the base here is the right option. I can always reinforce then if need be. Um, over here it would be nice if I could form a line a little bit further forward. But maybe it's too late for these guys. So far, it's only one Chocobone who can reach this far. Um, and I don't mind if you attack Kron, I don't mind that at all. So let's have a temporary line where Kron is. Um, we'll get you, we'll get some bats soon too, and some ghosts. That's okay. Actually, the orange player is not going to be any kind of a threat. He's recruiting the weakest possible units, and uh, fire damage will swiftly put pay to them. So you just run back here. Not super keen on you attacking neck uh, on. Oh, now you can go further. Okay, so what I need to do, stick you there. Um, no, you know, still not blocked. So okay, I'm gonna move Irelian back a bit. 
Oh. Very frustrating. No, what I'm do is put you there, you out here, you there. And then you can go there. Um, no, actually, I'm, I'm not. I'm not thinking straight. You're only forty percent. I always imagine you guys have higher defense because you're like the foot pads, but you're not. How much do I really mind if twenty-eight, twenty-eight, fifty-six? Yeah, they could kill really. They could kill Krom actually, but I think they're not likely to unless they're very, very lucky. We've both got the same number of hit points, but you are resistant to pierce, which is the crucial point, and you will do so much retaliation damage. So this guy might be done for, but if he is, well, you know, boohoo, I can make more demons anyway. The crucial thing is going to be to defend properly down here. Um, so I'm going to make one more attempt to lure out this front chocobone by putting a slightly more tempting unit in front of it. And I'm going to retreat back. Um, you're quick and intelligent. A quick and intelligent thug is not going to last long anyway. So I'll get a defensive line ready for when these drones arrive next turn. Wraiths will be excellent for fighting drones, as they always are. A few more units head north. I will need some more support up there, even though blue's going that way. My loyal spearman. Maybe this bone shooter, because it's not going to fare well against wraiths particularly. Now then, you come this way. Um... I'm going to get another healer up here. Um, you just stay where you are and you go into the forest. Or maybe you... 60, 60. You're as good in the forest as you are in the house. So you go onto the house because you've got less defense there. And you will hit my lines. You'll probably go for the skeleton, which you can annihilate, actually. Um, shouldn't have put that skeleton there. It's just um, just <laughs> tempting fodder. But I do want to recall my big shots as well. I've got six very powerful units. I'm going to get more weak ones first before I start recalling those six, the big six. Um, and over here I'm going to need more Gonna need stuff that can do fire damage, I think. Some demons might be helpful. The demons don't do much fire damage. Um, maybe a ghost or two to get some arcane damage into the mix. And just one Saurian skirmisher in case any skirmish opportunities come up. And more skeleton. A couple. Oh, yeah, more skeletons. And a couple of thugs. Should do it, I think. Right, I was unable to tempt the Chocobone out with a level 3 unit. Clearly... They do have some limitations, these guys. These drones are coming down, though, so I can tempt them out, and I can tempt them out with poachers, uh, not poachers, pillagers. And that seems actually like a pretty smart move. I'm gonna move you out into the forest in case anyone would rather attack you.
You can both reach the same distance at the moment. So we'll just have this fight in the forest, I think, where the poachers are a little bit... where the pillagers are a little bit more effective. Sadly, Realm and the Captain can't quite reach. Let's put someone else here to also lure in that Chocobone. Maybe a level 2 Slayer, because it'll, it'll think it can kill that, and hopefully it actually can't. Or actually now, yeah. That's right. I imagine one of them will probably come in and try and attack Vernar if he stays there. And actually, that's more or less fine, um, though I will try and make it Fernol instead. Uh, and then up here I ought to form a defensive line, because these drones could attack me here too. So let's get these weak level 1 units into position. Don't want to throw away my pillages, the scenario instructions explicitly told me not to. Durvin's going to run out of juice this turn. Well, he's not going to run out of his pillages, because um, there are a dime a dozen in this scenario. in our existing ways. We might just get one of each of the useless types of units that we haven't recruited yet. Uh, we've already got a grown-up version of this guy, so there's not much point, but here we go. Uh, way to spend our last gold. Spearmen though, spearmen are good. I've forgotten how good spearmen are, so let's have more of them. Alright, 36 gold left. That will get me three grunts. Or some other units. Um, two scouts or three grunts. Um, I think actually the three grunts option is pretty tempting. Hmm... What I might find myself short of here, I think, is archers. But I've got so many poachers who can do melee fire damage that hopefully it doesn't matter. Alright, and in you go, Durban. Join the fray. Anyone else hiding in the bottom? No? Good. Yep, time to play Smash the Skeleton. That's actually really annoying, because um, I wanted to use that guy to... These guys are hitting a lot. It's supposed to be... He just killed... Whoa, okay. Have these got some sort of... Because those level 2 drones don't have marksmen, and that one just hit four times on 30%, so... Hmm. <laughs> hmm is all I will say to that. Not happy. Okay, Storm Sister number one is nearing. Hmm. 
now the chocobone's not going to come out because I wanted to uh, attract the chocobone with that slayer who got killed. The slayer becomes the slain. Now again, that guy had 70% defense, so it's pretty weird that he got hit with all three attacks. One guy, one little drone is bucking the trend, going south. Again, 70% defense. Hmm. Oh. Something. Okay, let me just check my statistics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that was a fantastic turn for us, wasn't it? Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Now, first priority is probably... Start clearing out some of these guys. Um... That everyone who's heading up north can join in that task. They're not enough on their own. I will need blue support. That's cool. You're you going to stay where you are, or are you going to come around? What's the plan? What's the play? Anyone who comes out on the front lines here is pretty exposed. I really can get an after maximum. Stick you on the house for defensive purposes. And. Yeah, you've got Arcane, so you'd be good against this guy. You just go here and get some toasting in. same and hopefully blue can come in to compensate for this or maybe hmm do you want to do that 12 3 or there's going to be more drones in immediately next turn and orange Nice work, Kron. I'm going to save you for a better occasion. Bring you up behind. And... I do want to have some defense over here, though, so... I think... Whoever I put over here is going to get pretty much annihilated, though, unfortunately. I'm kind of annoyed about these drones. Like, it, finds it, might, it, it makes it very hard to build a perimeter, and I've got 50% defense on every terrain type. This guy is quick and intelligent, so yeah, screw him. Um, let's kill the drone, or... 
you guys mostly can't. We'll have to sweep across, see what we can get, but let's just have you pop out and try and kill this chocobone. Oh dear, my bad luck is continuing. Um, let's put you in the forest. Because you are good in the forest after all. With you behind. And we can maintain some kind of line. I just don't want Kron to get annihilated. So I'm going to put the Zephyr here. And then the skeleton. Um, this skeleton will get annihilated wherever I put it. In retrospect, I might not have wanted to be quite as aggressive on this flank. I'm a bit worried about the kind of retaliation I'm going to take. So here... The situation is similar. We've got drones coming in. Um, don't really want to jump out too far. Don't really want my skeletons on the front lines either, but then there's no, real, no one else to take it. can reach. Um, if I go, so it's basically, it's basically just these three drones and they can't be everywhere at once down here, so I'm not feeling too bad about popping out with Agea and getting rid of that fella. Then you again, you're strong in the forest, so you go to the forest. You hang around behind. Um, you and you alone can access the juicy underbelly that I've got going on down here. And I can actually forestall that somewhat by putting a ghost in the way and if I lose the ghost then I lose the ghost seems more likely to me though that all three of them will gang up on her gear um, and I just hope she can survive that if they do because I've not got many other options down here All right, now Anya is finally also short on gold, so she's going to recall her legendary forest spirit inspector units. And this highwayman, who is no less legendary in his own right, I'm sure. But these guys are the real lords of the dance. And I've still got a little bit of money left, um, so we can have... Anyone else worth recalling? Really, really not. Another auger. Another skirmisher. And a couple more demons. And I think that's it. And then... Anya can come and... I mean... The chaotic bonus... Does that even apply in this case? We'll see if anyone attacks this guy, which they might. Okay, blue, all my hopes are counting on you. <laughs> yes, they are. And this guy is going to run out and get himself poisoned, I guess. Um, 
positioning is so tricky when there's so many drones around. If he runs out there, he's more likely to get himself killed, but I can at least block him with weaker units. Okay. This seems like as good a use of a poacher as any. Well, the random number generator is punishing me for it, so maybe not. Um, I'm not going to be able to clear this guy out this turn if, if I wasn't successful there. What I can do... Um, no, you can't quite reach far enough to be useful in leadership. Next turn. <laughs> I thought you I thought fire was good against you guys. All right, now I just need to block my more powerful units. I'm worried for Kron. He's in range of the Enforcer drone. And he's, on, he's got very, very poor defense on this terrain. Unfortunately, there's no, nothing I can do about that. So... Form a defensive line over here. Let's see what we can do over here to these guys. It would be nice if we could obliterate them entirely, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Um, well, who knows? They're not that tough. I think probably <sighs> the poison is so, so irritating. Slow them and I'll get a big retaliation attack. Um, if I don't slow them, I'll get them poisoned. And this this army still doesn't have any healers or in the many villages. So it's going to be pretty much a death sentence going out to attack one of those guys, which is exactly what I shouldn't be doing with my poachers. Let's see what damage I can do with Fernal anyway. Zero! Lovely. It's going great, people! You can't move very far. You can give one of the poachers, the pillagers, a boost while firefighting. Maybe I should try and kill this guy first. And then the rest can see if they can take out. Honestly, my stats this game are really a bit of a joke. Now you're going to have to go into the water for this, which is bad. But you at least have the capability of hitting. You could go north. Um, you will get chocoboned if you do that, and possibly attacked by this guy. Yeah, don't want to do that. You're too valuable to me. So I'll just hope that everyone else down here can deal maybe this guy. I salute you. Ugh. slowed him before, not that it makes much difference.
Oh, okay. I know I was told not to throw away my goblin pillagers, but I know I'm saying that a lot too. <laughs> but uh, this seems like a more effective way of throwing one away. So my luck turns. Okay, the entire blue army is on one fairly compact screen at the moment, but there are a lot of them. A lot of them are poisoned. <laughs> um, okay, well I'll throw the poisoned ones away pretty much, or get them healed up in this little cluster of villages. Hopefully there'll be some nice recruits I can get from up here. Um, you, if you're going to stay there, I don't care about you. you. You, on the other hand, are annoying. I'm going to have to fight you. Okay, this turn's going to be bad. Ish. Possibly I might lose. Alright, that was predictable. If you want to do that, I won't object. Slowing in. Yes! Ah, you served me well. You were... <laughs> okay, Storm Sister is still on the other side of a chasm. And everyone else is just gradually moving in. Again, if you want to take flights like that, I'm okay with it. Could do with a bit better RNG, but never mind. worrying about people attacking Kron and Agea, but no one attacked Agea and no one attacked Kron. Yet. Finally, that chocobone decides to enter the fray. Okay, I'm wondering now, is this current line that I have the best position for a line? Or would it be better to go further back or further forward? I think it's good, and I think I'm a bit, I'm just you know, there's, I'm going to get hit by a ton of stuff next turn. It's going to come down on me like an absolute ton of bricks. So I'm going to need to be very careful with where I end up positioning my powerful units this turn. Well, particularly in the north, I need to avoid overreaching myself because I've got a lot of units that need to survive up there. Um, still, need of overreach or none, I do want to 
start getting rid of enforcer drones, so... Okay, that one's looking a bit less, uh, a little bit less healthy. And come down here. Would like to kill this enforcer drone as well. And I think this spot, I might bring people forward so they're standing on the edge of the chasm, so I can fight there. All right. So far, so good. That's a waste of you. What about you? Okay. Ah! Okay, you're almost at a level, though you'll probably get absolutely obliterated by a slashing gale next turn. Ugh. You suck. <clears throat> Gonna leave this ground to blue to defend. Come back with Kron. You is tempting to run forward now and kill this Chocobran. Is it really necessary? Maybe not, but it's rewarding. to come down here and help out. Now I can also send you up to this house so that you can heal some of the uh, casualties of that preceding battle. I do have an auger down here who can do some healing too. But you go on to the village. You go there. And on this line, I feel like we ought to be able to hold. So, in the south... You come right up to the front lines. I mean, you could you could get obliterated by one of these demon S slashing gale, and you probably will. Um, but there's no way around casualties. That's a ranged arcane magical slowing attack, which is 15-5, so it's completely insane. Trouble with being on the on the chasm is that you can't surround. Well, let's stick Anya here right in the middle. Because she can certainly take some beat down. And over here, need to get ready for an attack. Again, I'm actually gonna drop back a bit, I think. Somewhat wonky defensive line here, but should do the trick, I think. OK, 
Can you go over this chasm? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. So these guys can. Alright, so that's red. Um, blue's going to do most of the work this turn. Including getting very substantially poisoned. And one health. Pull one health loyal direwolf rider. We need to kill this stuff. Ah, well, I was at least hoping that you would get the kill, but if you didn't get the kill, I was at least hoping that you would not get poisoned, which you also didn't do. Um, but yeah, well, whatever. You come and get unhealed. Unpoisoned, sorry. Now it's just this chocobone. Um, we could lure out the war drone up here as well with poachers. May the Dark Lady guide us to victory over the false god! Nice, it's a Chaos Raider. Not hugely useful, but there we go. Well, you guys are already around here, you should be... Ow! I'm so annoyed that you got poisoned. Why did I do that? That was just such a stupid thing to do. I guess you can stay on the back lines. Dervin himself could come in, but... Uh... He can't fight anyone this round, and, he, and there's no point in him hanging around behind, he doesn't provide leadership or anything. Okay. Ah, oh, nice, and they've stopped saying things, interestingly. So you go and grab that one. No new troops. Up here it's really just, maybe, yeah, just this one war drone that I need to worry about. Let's see if this lone footpad can do any damage. It can! Good! Okay, now it's all about sweeping over towards the right-hand side. And I can't sweep as much as I'd like to sweep because there are just too many powerful units over here. I need to get my leadership unit back over there. Stat. Um, for now though, you can go... If you go here... You can provide whoever sits... The poor sod who decides to take this job. <laughs> um, I mean, you'll level up if you kill it. But, I mean, you won't kill it, because you need to get two hits, so it should be someone more expendable than that. Probably a normal Orcish Archer if I've got one in range. Like you. I do want to deal what damage I can. Or maybe it would be more useful for you to attack this guy. Probably. Oh, okay. Someone else come in here. Um, hmm. Try and poi get the slow in. 
worth it. Gotta leave some units on for this flank, because it's gonna be important to maybe this sacrificial archer. It's gonna be hard to form a decent defensive line here. A little bit easier now. Be my last poison damage causing unit could do that would be just would be throwing your life away if you did that we get another slow in I think At this point, realistically, it's more about interference than about causing huge damage. I can do that when I'm more confident about the shape of my lines. Grabbing villages. Got some good strong spearmen back here. Even though I said I need a ton of archers for fire damage, I didn't actually recruit that many archers, which is um, sad. Some of you ought to run north, because you're going to have to help deal with that war drone. Everyone fast can do that. if it comes out, which I'm sure it will. It means it's got level one prey to attend to. Okay, you go into the healing brigade. Anyone else need healing? You guys don't need healing, you've just arrived. You need healing. <laughs> This is not what you call a strong defensive line in the north, but it's something. <clears throat> Durban himself can go all the way up there. Okay, I think that's blue done. Let's see the damage. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what a legend. Survived a war drone attack. Well, you will go down in history, even though you will go down. Oh no! <gasps> you 
You made it! Yes! Dang it! Couldn't get the slow in time. My luck's still not brilliant here. Desperate to kill that slightly experienced demon. So in the north, things look mostly under control, at least as far as the green player is concerned, and he's still the main threat with the majority of the troops and control of all of the powerful drones. But the other Storm Sisters are coming in. One of them's already hit my lines. And it's quite amazing that that crossbowman made it as far as he did. They don't seem to want to attack in the south. They've got a whole line of troops lined up there waiting for the attack, and no one wants to come. But, I mean, the skeleton standing on the edge of that precipice is not going to be a useful move. Maybe I should start moving forward. And the water room didn't... Oh, yes, it did. I, I, it did come out in the north, sorry. I'm not thinking. White player's looking forward to his units having run all the way across the map, getting brutally slaughtered in their first turn of combat. Okay, so... Since you don't seem willing to engage on the front lines, we might as well bring the mountain to Muhammad. Um, we've now got Anya's got a 17-4 Noctum attack, which ought to be usable to just whack this thing out of the sky. It'll be on one health if it hits with three. Hits with four. Sweet. All right. I'm going to bring in a gay over here as well. I think that might be a good idea. She can then; those two can then work as a team. All right, that was pretty good. You're pretty wounded. Um, if I stick someone on this chasm, they will be able to attack you, but they will also be susceptible to the vast morass of troops over here. Oh god, what are you all doing? Hanging down here. I've still got one dryad up here. I guess she should just stay where she is, get rid of this guy. Hopefully without dying. There we go, she's done her job. You stay there as well. Otherwise, we can try and whittle down some of these weak units here. Um, and I could use powerful units for that purpose, so I will. 31. Alright, not quite a kill, but not too bad either. I can try and kill you with this loyal spearman. There you are. Do you want to be a pike man? Do you want to be a javelinier? Do you want to be a swordsman? Um, kind of depends on resistances. Pierce resistance and arcane resistance. Pierce resistance is not hugely useful. Um, so these two options are not as tempting as they would otherwise be. Um, 
So I think I'm just going to go for the regular swordsman. Okay. You go back. Spell Dancer, you come forward. Try and get rid of this demoness. Alright, that did not succeed. And if I send anyone in here, it will jeopardise my ability to... Well, maybe not, maybe not. Who's got the best chances? Probably you, you'd need 4 out of 6 hits on 70%. Uh, but you'd be very exposed. Because I don't think Blue is in a position to kill this guy next turn. Wait a minute. Hmm. There we go. Maybe that was a terrible idea. I guess I'll find out. Someone can kill this ghost then. Someone who's got 50% defense on all terrain like you. Okay, and now I'm not going to send Kron forward because there are still too many nasty people. I'm not worried about Anya and Agea dying, but I am worried about Irelian, Kron, etc. This guy, though, this guy looks like he's up to the task. Uh, clearly not that up to the task. Kron could come and punch this guy. If I think I can... Putting him very, very close to this demon slashing gale. Don't want to be fighting that with Blue's troops. Blue's troops can all be drained, and I do not want to attack it at range. And where are all my skeletons? Hello, skeletons, you're in completely the wrong place. So let's get my spectres up north. Or at least heading that way. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to take out the Slashing Gale anyway this turn. Um, do I have a Wraith who I can send in? You've moved. Oh, there's a Wraith floating around. Yeah, there we go. You could come in and attack from the back. Um, it would be a death sentence, though. Same as it would be a death sentence for you, or you, or anyone who can reach, really. Maybe not you. And if it is, well... Grand. Okay, I should be able to get this one out of the way at least. That will help my general cause. And we'll get the skeletons up here, or some of them, since no one wants to come down. This battle did not go the way I thought it would, in terms of positioning. And now I feel kind of dumb. Let's not send all of my skeletons away. Move. 
Oh, such a cluster bleep. You get down there and get yourself relieved of that poison real quick, my friend, because I'm going to need you. Up here we've got a single war drone to deal with for the moment, though its friends are coming. This guy doesn't seem interested in fighting. So first steps first to slow it, I think. Thankless task. And now get in and melee where it's not quite as strong. Not that it's weak, it's just not quite as strong. And again, I'm going to get some poison. But at least I've got houses up here that can compensate for that. Ah! Oh, come on. Not quite dead. Seven damage needed. You do six. You do five. There we go. Okay, this cluster of villages is secure, though I think I may have given that too much importance in the grand scheme of things. Durvin can step forward and deal with this guy. Alright, nicely softened up for a kill by someone else, maybe even this flag bearer. There we go. And again, we can remove the poison relatively easily, and there's still, I can get some leadership on these units here. want to kill things at range on their bats. Oh, come on. There we go. A regular grunt can do the job. You just hop up there. And let's see if a regular grunt can do this job too. Perfect. We've got one more bout of leadership, so we can use it to allow this guy to nobly sacrifice himself. Mm, not sacrificed yet. So that guy goes. Okay, now this flank's looking okay. Reasonable. And I can see what I can do up here. The I might as well just ignore the Demoness Slashing Gale, because nothing that Blue's got can really hurt her at all. Other than... Now, she's not a regenerator, so poison would be the thing. And I can poison her. So maybe that's the trick for now. In the meantime... Let's see if we can get this guy out of the way. Or maybe just slow, but I think I'm going to try and kill it.
We'd need two hits. We'd also we need three hits. Okay. Hmm. We would need all three hits. Do I have a strong pillager? I, mean, I do, but not around here right now. This one's loyal and intelligent. Nope. I'm looking for a strong one because it would be able to probably two shot this guy. But I'm just going to have to use this one. So now it's on one health, which is something. And you're here in time to fight off Orange and White's troops, and also to fight off this assault drone. There are still more assault drones coming across the map at me, so no complacency allowed. I'm gonna park you there. I'm gonna bring you back one, then use you. Kill that guy. You can kill this guy, or damage him anyway. You're a skirmisher, this is a, I can't even trap you. I'd rather you didn't fight your way all the way through my lines, so I'd like to park someone on that spot. Okay. Please don't go north, I would like you not to go north. I'll move this guy back now. Um, just hopefully you'll seek meteor targets. All right, poison time. Ha. Yeah, well, you were always going to die, but um, now you're poisoned. Uh, run away to a house, my foolish friend. You go and get healing. Just surround you with level ones so that you can't do too much damage. And I have to try and kill this guy. And you are now a Slurbo as well. Well done. Now let's go for a grunt attack. Why can't you do as much damage? Are you providing leadership? Is someone providing leadership over here? Because why did you do 10 damage? Oh, well, that seems weird. Or did I, did, I mis did I misread the situation somehow? Oh well. Oh, it's because you're next to the Slashing Gale and she causes terror. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, in, in so far as anything makes sense. Yeah, that's a bad spot to be in. Okay, my line is solid, so I'm willing to take the beat down. Whew, this is not, not, not an easy battle. Even just keeping your loyals alive is hard.
Whoa! Yeah, there we go. Finally, some action in the south. Even if it is killing my ghost. Ah, uh, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Dang. And you're going further north, which I told you not to do. Naughty. The white player still doesn't actually get any combat experience. But it's turn six. Teal's not having too much luck on that front either now his chocker bones are dead. Oh man, if and when I survive this initial battle, it's going to be a long trek past all these flipping turrets. But let's not think about that right now. Instead, let's think about how to get rid of the Storm Sisters. And to get rid of the Storm Sisters, I need to take out the stuff that's next to the Storm Sisters. Anya can't do it because although she's got nice big wings, she for some reason can't fly over chasms. Maybe she's too scared. This one, they're all, actually I was going to say this is the weaker one, but they're all pretty weak, to be honest, in terms of health. Uh, what, what the best thing to do with them is, is attack in melee. Um, abscond and teleport. Um, so, not immune to drain, which is unfortunate. So I can start to go out across this chasm, though. Um, first of all, I should just clean up what's down here, because um, this stuff actually really isn't in any way threatening. So this is what my skeletons... I brought my skeletons to deal with these guys, and the skeletons can't even get any blows in. And that's partly my own stupid fault. Alright, classic skeleton work. Anyone need an experience down here? You could do with it, but you aren't close enough. You, um, we'll bring you closer to being a... Is Anya just going to sit here and blast this guy out of the sky? I think so, and then units around her can... To the rest. You do very little damage with fire. What's your what are your resistances like? Twenty percent resistance to flame, and it's during the night. Okay, that would make sense. Oh, you're not looking great. Hmm.
good work. Try and get, use these skeletons to defeat these drones because they can't do anything else, and whereas the spectres are more flexible. Consequences. Uh, you're a skirmisher, but I don't really care what you do. Um, you can only attack skeletons, you can't attack anyone. Perfect. That flank is secure, apart from the flippin' slashing gales. Um, obviously this obscure ability doesn't seem to do anything at night. I guess it's just because it's night. Um, you, you actually heal. I didn't realize you had a heal ability. That's cool. Maybe you should move in. Be closer to the battle. But then again, probably it's good that you're a little bit away. In case anything crazy happens with skirmishes. So many units here, so little that I can actually achieve. I can, the only thing I can think to do is to gang up on this one with maybe Agea and some... But Agea also, she, she can be... She can be got with the... Oh, it's only a slow... The ranged one's a slowing attack. Okay, it's not a draining attack. It's the melee which is a draining attack. So I actually... Okay, now I regret not attacking this one. Um... Still has lots of units back here, and uh, I don't have many... Again, I kind of wish I had more poison units now. She can do poison, but um, she'd have to go into melee, which is a bit dangerous with these folks. Hmm... I could come round here and start cleaning up. With some of my units, otherwise they're all just sitting there. Well, let's try that. Like you, I mean, you, you're not going to do anything useful there in the middle of the fight. Oh, such a horrible, scary ranged ability. And my skeletons, yeah, oh great, you can get in, okay. And do a mighty five damage and get killed in return. And you're the only one of my undead. Looks good, but the drain is just too problematic. That ranged attack, man. The trouble is if I, if I use my spectres now and they fail, they will get absolutely obliterated next turn. And in fact, they'll probably get obliterated next turn if they succeed as well. Um, so I should probably just wait for these guys to put themselves in a more vulnerable position. Let's get you out of the way. Pick over here. 
or to some other healer who's... Oh, I need another healer in the back ranks here. Maybe one of these, this, um, yeah, this, this loyal soothsayer can do that. What I can continue to do up here is get rid of these other troops. And actually having all these units lined up against the chasm is really not all that useful. So I should bring Agea north a bit. Um, I mean, these guys could just gang up on her and kill her. They could go up and kill her and yet, to be honest. Um, they take an awful lot of damage in return, but not that much, actually, if, it's, if, if she gets slowed. Um, maybe it's worth putting her in the back ranks. Um, still the case that you can do a substantial amount of damage against drones. So if I can put you there and have someone else deal damage here, maybe this other forest spirit between you. Oh, you're scared. Ugh. Still worth doing? Well, I guess we'll see. No, now you need to hit, hit with all five of your attacks to kill it. Rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Now you're probably dead to a dog. Or something similar. Stick something weak on the front line here. As a blocking unit, a sacrificial lamb. Tighten things up in case of skirmisher attack. Um, I want to get my, I want to get these guys good to go. You could go over there and do this already. I just don't have the best of angles over here. And I don't have other troops that can back you up, so I'm not going to waste you like that, because she can kill you in retaliation in a heartbeat. Did anyone else need health? Um, you kind of need to be away from the front line. You could do with some health. You can just swap you around and do it that way. Let blue once again do some work. Lots of poison there. Now, if I do want to get anywhere, um, I think there's a few fights going on up here. There's this guy who's in the water, um, and a drow backing him up. So if I go and attack him and kill him, I should probably wait rather instead for him to come to me. I can do that with a pillager, who will also get health. And you guys can all head towards the main fight now. Vernar, after many years of loyal service, does not really do himself proud in this instance. None of you guys, other than this war drone, can actually get round here to this guy, so... Ugh. 
going to worry a little bit about Durvan here because Durvan has to not get killed by the Slashing Gale. Who has a humongous reach. But I would equally like to get rid of this thing. And as usual, Durvan is one of the best places to do that. Still, maybe I should go up north with him. I was going to put... Oh yeah, because you're, you're a flag bearer. Like a level 1 unit could come in here and do some damage. Here, we need someone to just get the kill and then run away. That's much easier said than done. I don't actually have many troops down here. I need to realign a bit. If you go there, you'll probably die, but never mind. Ah, good old fire damage. And you're not even... Oh yeah, you, you can't move because you're... Let's have a look at this flank. Um, you could get that kill, but if you do... I mean, you're equally likely to die yourself, and it's not worth giving you the experience, is it? No, you won't even level. Is there anyone who will level? No. Not on Blue's side. Well, in that case, I, I guess I should just do it. And it's all a moot point anyway. Oh god, you guys. There we go. Back. Now, if she wasn't a skirmisher, I could trap her, but because she is a skirmisher, I can't. Um, you, I could run away and get some healing for. Purple's troops are looking meager. Just a wounded dude here and one more. Um, Orange's troops, I think, are just a couple of bats now, other than a few loyals that are flying around the place. Um, Brown is still fine. Yeah. Probably want to use the most weakened of my of my pillagers to try and slow. And that will be a, a suicide mission, unfortunately. But yeah, now you're not nearly as threatening as you were. Ugh. That's so annoying. <laughs> We 
we go. Gonna move, yeah, I'm going to put Durban here, take the bat out, we'll try to take the bat out and fail, okay, well that means that you have got to do this, which at least you succeed in doing, and then you can come in, Durban though is safe. Well, it's going to be very difficult for me to block off this slashing gale. I should probably send another pillager south so that um, I'll be able to pull this off with the other slashing gales too because it's by far the easiest way of killing them. She is still poisoned so she's going to be losing a lot of damage, a lot of health. Um, it might even become feasible to kill her with, with Blue's troops. You know, feasible is not the same as easy. And this guy's still alive and, and doing well, unfortunately. Now you want to run away and go to there. sit here. Now you might be able to get through, but only if the other players tear a hole in my lines first. Um, which I think, well, if, the, if, the, um, if these remaining drones do, which they might. And this guy is going to go for my Chaos Raider, unfortunately. So all these new level 1 Lyles are uh, not long for this world. You're nearly at full health, so you can go there. Ready to go. You're already ready to go. Okay, Blue's, Blue's army down here has been decimated. It's not even funny. Up here at least is doing relatively well, but needs to be in order to fight these guys off. And ultimately the plan is still to cross over and defeat these two leaders. Just can't do it yet. But Red's going to have to take a more active role in the center here, because the center's going to crumble. And in that, with that in mind, I'm going to move the Slurbo a bit. Okay, she's put herself where skeletons can get her. Oh no, not my fire bandit. Now he's gonna die to an archer. Even an archer. Probably should have seen that coming. I didn't see it coming. Avrilla is desperate to be killed by the northern troops rather than the southern ones. the streams of enemy units are starting to run down a little bit. It's mostly just White's units which have been too slow to reach the combat until now. And they're going to get themselves killed in fairly short order if they do things like this. T 
field troops are just an annoyance at this point. Imps mostly. Lots of healing. Um, sudden swarm of units down here who, because of my poor positioning, did much better than I expected them to do. Um, so, how do I deal with this? I mean, I think I can kill this Slashing Gale. I just need to be careful about how I plan it. So first of all, you get out of the way. And you're going to blast this Headhunter. Who's now almost dead. And the death blow can be struck by someone all the way back here, I think, probably. Maybe not. You could do it. You'd probably die on the rebound. Good stuff. Someone needs to kill this drone. Why not Ergea? She's going to need to be in the vicinity anyway for the next bit. Two hits, please. Oh, after maximum level. Very nice. Didn't see that coming. You come round. Um, you... Get the archer. We're almost in position now to be able to take on the Slashing Gale. I want to kill this raider though, because it killed my bandit and I'm still pissed about that. So uh, Anya's going to come down here as well and... Not quite kill this Chaos Raider, but the remainder of the damage can be dealt by thugs. Oh, way to go! Wasn't expecting that to be so successful. Um, I would like to be able to kill this runner drone. Maybe I can send these skeletons around to do that. It's not super tough. Two skeletons attacking ought to kill it, but won't. Maybe this one will. Maybe. Three hits. No. Mm. Not very impressive. Oh well. So now, but, but now at least I can. Uh, uh, sadly, you're out of range. As are you, so I can only get, actually get one Spectre and one Wraith in here. Oh, that's a shame. If they send you into shut to slow, you will die. And my skeletons I've used doing other things. So I thought I'd planned this very cleverly, but it turned out I hadn't. Maybe I can just surround it with level 1 units and wait it out. get started anyway. She probably lose my spectre though. What about this skeleton? This skeleton can just come in and fight, can't it? I could do this. No, it's very weak. You did me proud. Pff, 
No way. Not no way that's worth doing. You come down here. You guys come down here too. Oh, very good. Okay, now you are completely isolated. Let's surround you with weak units that I don't care about. Can't fully surround you anyway. No, you can still get out via the chasm, can't you? That's annoying. I'd have to put a wraith on there to stop that, or maybe a fire spirit. Um, no, maybe that's worth it. Maybe. Did, did did a fire spirit get killed last turn? Because if it did, I really missed that. Looks like that may have happened. Yeah, you've suddenly got a ton of experience, so I think someone must have taken out a, a forest spirit. Um, that's sad. Okay, well, I guess you'll do what you have to do. Does everyone protect the undead, basically, at this point? Uh, we need to do a bit of damage here. Probably want to get you out of the way. In any case, I'll put you in the forest. These, like I say, these, these this swarm of units is, is actually slowing up a bit, and not very many of them are powerful. The, the only really powerful one is the Flashing Gale. Got to be a bit careful with Irelian and, uh, and friends. Try and kill this archer here. I'd like to be able to do so. And then again. Weak units into blocking positions to stop the skirmishers from getting round. You stay where you are, and that is red. Okay. Lots of poison, lots of damage. You, if you get a level 2 kill, could get a level up, which would be cool. But there aren't any level 2 units in the immediate vicinity. Um, you're looking a bit the worse for wear, because you've just been attacked by a war drone. That war drone is now in the water, but it's only 50% defense there, so it's, there's no real point attacking it. Um, does very much look like this demoness slashing gale wants to be wants to be in the thick of here. So am I gonna throw away another week? Like you I could throw away. Try and get a slow. That didn't work. Anyone else? Someone wanna give it a go? There we go. Now we can try... Um, it's only really ranged attacks that are in any way effective. Durvin will just absolutely bite the dust if he gets attacked by that, even now that she's been slowed. And melee attacks are just pointless. Huh. 
Got to look north as well. These drones on the chasm are really irritating. I'd like to get rid of this guy in the forest too. Let's just try. Right, you, I know you've just leveled, but you're gonna take one for the team. Uh, God, no. Eventually got there. All right. Um, you can't get round, which is sad. In fact... Have I got enough troops down here to hold off the main assault? Probably not. Um, in which case, I have to waste someone good like you. I'll just let you do what you do. And then you can attack this one. For no effect. Every little helps. Oh, you need healing, but you can't reach it. Oh, you can. You can reach this guy. I don't want to lose you. You'd be my first orcish warrior, I think, in the entire campaign. dead, but you're pretty close. Even despite all of the warnings, the poachers are getting ground down. Sorry, pillagers, I keep saying poachers. What's Durvin going to do this turn? Because this, this side of the battlefield suddenly, in one turn, is looking way more dangerous than it previously was. I think retreat is the best option. I should have retreated, even with these guys. Because, you know, you're going to die. Probably, yeah. Yeah, in fact, blue is, blue is hardly a force on the battlefield anymore. It's really sad. You ran there because you thought it was going to be safe, didn't you? Sorry to disappoint. This 
just going to surround Durban, so I hope he doesn't get obliterated. And then I think, unfortunately, I mean, yeah, this is a really bad situation now. It's turned from, from fine to terrible. Um, yeah. So, so very not confident that I will even survive the next defensive turn. Of course, they're going to gang up on the nearly level orc. Oh, nice. Respectable. That was not respectable. You missed with all your attacks. Oh, no, they're all going up there. Okay. And you would do that. Oh, miss. I always think it's over, but it's just the green player. Then again, the green player is the one with the by far the most powerful and the most units, so... No oh, figures. laughing about white earlier on. I really shouldn't have. Didn't see you there, but at least you miss with everything. Time now, I think, to try and kill the remaining Storm Sister. I've got all of my wraiths in place. I ought to be able to get rid of this Chocobone. You sadly are no use to a man or beast, really. Again with Agea, who is actually not particularly useful per se against these guys. I should be able to get a full surround. Okay, now the skeletons. <laughs> Not quite. So, we can use our experienced skeleton. get a revenant out of it. All oh, right, one sister down, two to go. The other two unfortunately are in a place where I really don't want them to be, namely really up far in the north, or far, far away from the troops that can effectively kill them. At least this one is getting ground down with with poison damage, but I don't really have anyone else in poison other than Irelian. But what I do need to do is start pushing north because otherwise it's it's game over basically. Um, good old Anya can pop out of pretty much anywhere. It's 
So now that the threat from over here is less severe, I can afford to get some units in silly positions like this. <clears throat> Just been, just been, <laughs> just been rubbish. <laughs> it's really sad. Too slow. What about you? Uh... Pez the Alga and probably get this. There we go. Now things are looking a bit better. These guys are getting properly mopped up. You're a bit slow. There's drones over here. There's a demon. These guys are all coming over, but I can easily deal with them. No kill. How good is cold against drones? That's pretty good. There we go. Was even for the job. Still a dog up here, which could be nasty. Okay, at least one of you good healers can... The dog can't get to there. question is whether these guys should go north or whether they should instead start heading in towards the enemy leaders because uh, they're not going to stop being a problem. Well, Anya should. 
where's she going to be and what's she going to do? I think she's going to come and stand up here, be part of the defensive line against this horrible mass of units that's suddenly in our face because they decided to go for blue rather than anyone else. You guys, though, you can be a designated killing squad and just head straight over. Or should you? Uh, still, there's still too many people to deal with up here to make to make me confident in any way. Um, so I feel like everyone should continue to head north as fast as they can. which in many cases is not very fast. Poor you. <laughs> How did you get slowed? Oh yeah, you got hit by that range attack from the flipping sister. Poor you. Okay, blue. Now how are you going to get yourself out of this mess? This isn't a bad defensive line, with the exception that this demoness slashing gale can absolutely rip through it at any time, unless I kill her. Got to remember that a lot of these units that are coming are either A, very slow, or B, um, actually guards. So it's not as bad as it looks. Hit in the end, not going to survive this, but that's fine. All these drones! I can't get a good surround in. And Durvin can do on his own a maximum of 36 damage. Someone else needs to get the slow. You got slowed and missed. Sigh. Now it's extremely unlikely that Durvin will be able to get the kill. Well, no one else is really up to anything much other than you. But if I stick Durvin out in that position, then he's going to get owned by drones next turn. So maybe actually the best thing I can do with him is this. He could get lucky after all. And if he doesn't, he'll take 35 damage. And then he could get a dog in his face, he could get anything really. But I can at least put another couple of units between him and the... Slowing effect, I forgot about it. 
forgot about the effect that would have. Okay, well, that's the end of that then, I think. It's on 18 health, and I just can't... Nothing here can even remotely get close to killing it. It's so sad. Kill the dog. Very much need to defend Durvan here, and I suspect it might be too late for him because there's this other sister who can skirmish. Quite bad. You will need to come around here if I'm going to make anything of next turn. Oh, you can come out and block a bit. Actually, can you? If you were lucky, you could get that kill. I feel like, given how shitty things are going, it's worth a try. No. <laughs> Block the worst skirmishing avenues, but still not a great situation. Oh, you're still there. You come up to the front line and get some healing, my friend. Um, I'll go over here and get some healing. Can you go anywhere useful? No, not really. Okay, fingers crossed that Durvan doesn't die. I think he might well, unfortunately. Well, at least these units seem more interested in easier targets. Get away from him! Yeah, stupid dog. of healing. Not all that much in the way of other kinds of success, really. Um, still, every the south is completely clear. I did not expect this battle to go this way at all. The south is completely clear, and the north is an absolute shit show. Um, and all of the, the demoness slashing gale has gravitated to up there. Um, so I need to run up there, but without getting my powerful units killed. Um, 
Who's over here? What do I need to do? I need to kill you, Rama Lassara. It's, it looks like it's the daytime. The coloration makes it look like it's the daytime, but of course, it is in fact the endless night. Most people can't reach you. Crazy storm where I am. Whew. Loads of lightning. Right. Need to get this guy out of the way. And try and use Kron for that. Almost. Alright, Lady Slashing Gale is almost dead, and I can even do something to defend these guys by blocking off Okay, now she's on one health. Um, she's still almost dead. I can send in an Alga who will get an instant level if he manages to kill her. Perfect. Um, and because we want him to be a bit tankier, we'll make him an Oracle. Not that he'll survive past this turn anyway, probably, given the number of units that are heading up here. And there is still one more of the Slashing Gale sisters left. Even Anya is not really all that well set up to deal with that kind of fight. So what I need to do now is figure out, just is basically just kind of um, get all these guys into a position where they can do some good. Well, you guys are absolutely useless against the Armageddon Imp. Um, I guess I'll just wait for it to come in range. In in the uh, you know in the process of running north, I have let my units get very out of position. So I best protect my loyal and the, the units that must survive. I wonder if Blue has any more money coming in. The idea of sending Blue to destroy an ancient lich just suddenly doesn't look so promising. Now you guys really should go and kill leaders rather than hang around here. You can take on an Armageddon Imp, no problem. And then the rest of you can just back away slowly and carefully. Spectres are again one of those units that are absolutely excellent for killing imps. So I'll send the Wraiths and Spectres. You go go to a house, get healing, and you come up here. There we are, you're in a good position.
You guys run north, get ready to be part of a defensive wall that will likely mean your deaths. I'd like to give you some healing. Oh, there is a little uh, soothsayer here. And if I plonk you there, you'll be out of range of the, the Armageddon, and then you can accompany this army forwards. That seems a good plan. As for you, you go and join the main body of the forces. I ought to do something with, with Anya at least. Maybe she should just pop out here. Uh, but then if I'm going to retreat with Blue, she'll be completely on her own. There's several units up here. Um, but I don't think I am going to completely retreat with Blue. Maybe I should. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll leave Anya there. You, sadly, are very dead. So very dead. Okay. One saving grace is that White's units are mostly still fairly slow. There's only these two that are on land. Let's get Vernar out of there, because he's not going to do any good at all like this. Pull you back as well. How far can Durban move? Not far. That's going to be a factor. going to survive long enough to be a distraction. That was a stupid move. Can you just... Hmm. I think you're dead anyway, so... Sadly, Bogar. Oh yes, well you did do something good before you bit the dust. It would be nice if you survived, but I think it's unlikely. Slash implausible. You stay there and get health. You go over here and get health. You come back here and get health. Still got a few units that I can deploy. Well, you're going to die, so I will have you move away to distract as many units as you can. You're going to go here, because if I'm lucky, that will bring Gorilla straight here. And although my units that can kill... Um, that can kill slashing gales are quite far away. 
should still hopefully work out all right, just about. Okay, let's see how this goes for us. It's still going to be painful, but um, I just hope we won't lose. The trick is, again, Durban not dying. got in some decent retaliation. Go oh, Bogar! Okay. Okay, maybe I was overestimating Agea's ability to take on a, an Armageddon Imp. But these other guys can, and I just need to make sure that those irritating green units aren't close enough. I think in general I overestimated how far south this battle was going to be on multiple occasions. Okay, got to be a little bit careful here, because there is an Invoker. <laughs> ah, that sucked. Okay, this is very terrible. Take 30 poison damage and try and get this guy out of the way. Yeah, I just misstrategized that really badly. And this guy is now dead, which is really annoying. But maybe. There we go. That wasn't so hard. You know, let's just scramble everyone over here. Everyone who can make it. Defend. Okay, hopefully that Wraith will now not die. There's only a few units that can reach. Alright, now I can walk, worry about the main situation, which is what the hell's going on in the north. And for that... Takes Haller a while to get anywhere, but when he does, he's a bit of a beast. Now these Slashing Gales have no way of healing themselves once they're wounded, other than draining in melee combat. So they are quite vulnerable.
Yeah, Kron once again showing why he <laughs> can't be trusted. Well, no one can be trusted, apparently. You certainly can't. Um, can you be trusted? Not even a little bit. Let's try the Wraith. This is the jammiest Chaos Invoker who has ever walked this world. There we go, he's finally dead. Um, and didn't... Ugh. All right, I'm going to risk getting shot. Can I use someone else for this who's less shootable? You seem more powerful in this situation. That's another Armageddon in, but luckily they are slow. So it's mostly these drones I have to worry about. Two of which are very weakened, one of which is a war drone, and therefore weakening is not really in its nature. Try not to get shot too much, Domegi. I guess getting shot once isn't getting shot too much. It's all relative though, isn't it? Now, abscond. I survive one fatal hit every other turn. So if there's, if there's any time in this battle where it seems useful to use this ability, seems like it ought to be now. Do I now go and help out with the Dryad? Or with someone else? This guy can get in. Can't... If, he could get the kill if he's really, really lucky. Is there anyone I can give him leadership with? No. Certainly not. Well, I can only get this kill with the Shide, and I don't want to do that, because the Shide's too valuable. line in order. All right, Blue's turn. Think. Oh, ooh, you didn't do anything. You go and run into the woods. And some units back here didn't do anything either. Good thing I checked. Straight in you go. Okay, there's no great rush in this scenario, fortunately. We've only used 11 turns so far, even though I've been playing for, I think, nearly three hours now. Right, um, one thing Blue does have left is a lot of fast units, so Blue could come out and try and do some sniping at this point. Um, but I still think it's in Blue's interest to mostly sit tight and get as much healing as I can.
You can't quite get to a healer. Oh yeah, you can. You can just sit there. And you... Probably best if you don't just randomly die. So, can you get to a healer? Not really usefully. Everyone's surrounded. Only this one, but... <laughs> don't think he's the healer that you really want or need. So maybe he is. Oh, you're right next to a healer where you were. So in that case, I'll just leave you there. Sorry, I'm being a dumbass. Aguinic, amazingly, Aguinic the flag bearer is still alive, so he's going to run away some more. But no one can reach him. Well, that's not strictly true. This guy can, but he might die. These other drones can't. Um, so, okay. Okay, so Annie isn't dead, just very badly beaten up. Amazingly, my income is positive now. I must have taken horrific losses. Okay, first thing I guess I ought to clean up this cluster <clears throat> in the south. Um, yeah, because only the green troops are capable of doing that. Good work. You can't get punched to death by this guy, can you? No, you can't. Good. You ought to, I ought to try and get you the kill. And there, there are more. Like, I won't need all those attacks, but uh, guess what? I did! Okay. Two hits, please. Uh, I said two hits, that was no hits. There is a difference between those two things. What is it with the invokers in this army? They all seem to be flipping invincible. What happens if I put you there? You can't reach the spectres, good. And now you will never be able to reach the spectres because you are dead! <laughs> you get your healing. And worry about the situation in the north. You can't reach anyone, you can't reach anyone, you can't reach anyone, so we are safe. The north's not looking too bad now because everyone's come and uh, decided to gang up on these guys. 
Uh, poor old Anya is looking the worst for wear. But she has done some substantial damage to Gorilla as well, which is cool. So I need to start killing these drones. Okay, my previous oracle did not last long, so I'm going to get another one. Can you do some damage over here? Yes, but not much is the answer. the soothsayer can do this. Closer to a level. Oh, you're a worry. When I, when I say when, when I say worry, I'm more, I mean more annoyance. You could slow the imp. If I don't kill the imp, then that's very bad. So I feel like I should probably use blues troops for this. Um, all Anya can do in this situation is run. I could use my loyal dryad, but I'm running short on useful troops like that. I'm just going to nip you across to grab that. That's a good place to be. close to a level, and now it's really only these guys that I have to worry about. You can even reach that imp. Tempting for you to do a suicide job here, I think. You've been handy, but uh, if I can get 30 damage in, or even 10 or 20, it would be great. There's the 20. You're on 34 health now. I mean, 3 6, that would be 18 damage if it worked. That would be 20 if it really worked. Maybe I shouldn't have run away with Anya. Maybe I should have let her do her thing. Got to worry quite a lot now about positioning. Ranged attacks? Everyone's so weak against you when they're like that. And at this rate, it looks like I'm going to lose my second oracle too. Oh wait, I've got... No, my oracle's behind. It's Annex the Soothsayer that I'm going to leave, lose. Which would be very sad, because he's an absolute uh, legend. Only, only three units that can attack him. Um... I've got this under control, I hope. Oh, 
Never removed. don't want you to go around there and kill this guy. This guy's a bit of a, a beast. He survived the other sister, so maybe you'll want revenge. We'll see. Gigar, you're a legend, but your time is done on this planet. And now... This Slashing Gale is very much weakened. How many... I've still got a grand total of two of the um, people I was supposed to keep alive. I think I'm not going to be able to kill you this turn, so I'm just going to leave you there. Could attack you with a foot pad. Nah. Okay, let's see what happens now. Oh, ah. well, it's no shame to be killed by one of those ladies. No shame at all. Oh no, I forgot about you. Ah, shoot. Every, everyone seems very keen to kill you. Maybe I can rescue with the other with the fast blue troops. Because honestly, apart from the Armageddon Imp, there's nothing really here that can challenge me on this flank. Not with Gorilla so weakened. Um, you will do 19 times 4 damage and it can't kill you in return. You're more or less expendable, you'll be slow in the... Well, in the event you did almost nothing, unfortunately. How about you? Alright, you're on one health. And once again, it's just a matter of apportioning the kills in an appropriate manner. You could get it. You could die, though. Don't want that to happen. The Storm Sisters are now our prisoners, but we must destroy the last member of the Iron Council if we intend to seize the Citadel. Okay, all three Storm Sisters are down. And, uh, whoo -hoo -hoo. some challenge, it has to be said. Really? Hmm, okay. Do 
27 out of 32. E no good, no good at all. So maybe at range. No, no, you'll level up if anyone other than a level one unit hits you. And now you've only got seven hit points, so let's hit you with someone who really can hurt you. Not you. There we go. I wasn't about keeping skeletons alive for this next stage of the mission. dead, which is just how I like it. 14 hit points left. Alright, that's one dead Armageddon in. Got to be careful on this approach because there are chocker bones out there, and anything I put in the trees is going to get attacked by them. And it is night time, and even units with 50% resistance against Pierce might struggle, especially with other units in play. It's really only you, 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 though. That was pretty jammy, <laughs> but I'll take it. You don't. You guys just stay where you are and get Soothsayer healing. You come and join the party. I want to try and lure the Chocker Bones out, maybe with you. No, I want this guy out of the way first. And I'd like you to get more health, so you just sit tight. You stay where you are. So now we can go back to plan A. And a large number of random demons have survived this. I guess I couldn't probably think of anything all that much useful to do with them last turn, so... Um, or throughout this battle. You move north, and everyone who wants your healing can also move north. Gradually. Uh, you can attack who you want. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared of you guys more. Okay, time for the blue player. You're almost dead. You're not there yet, you're not there yet. Inaccuracy. Word, these guys are annoying when they're on houses. Uh, 
Anyone do seven damage? No, it doesn't look like it. Can you? No, you're not near enough. You want healing. Who can heal you? This lady can heal you. This nice lady here. Oh, here we go. Alright, a lull in the fighting as the first wave has been fought off. The second wave is still very much there. And with that, with the Storm Sisters defeated, with a lull in the fighting, and heading in to defeat the leaders one by one, we're going to take our break. So thank you very much for your attention, and see you next time.